Hi, we're back. This is Josh Jelinski, the financial quarterback, and we're taking your calls all hour on Roths, inherited IRAs, all that stuff. Next up, we got Lynn. Go ahead. You're on with Josh Jelinski, the financial quarterback. Oh, sorry. Um, hi, I had a question. I was I, I love you, Josh, but I was hoping I'd get a chance to ask Ed Slot this question. Can I or should I convert an inherited IRA to a Roth? You can't. IRA. I cannot. You okay. Cannot. No. Okay. Now, what the, well, wishful thinking. Well, well, what's the tip? The tip is you take the inherited IRA money and you buy life insurance with it on either you or a child or a grandchild. That will give a very similar concept to the Roth, where you'll be growing the money tax deferred and can be pulled out tax free. Or you can buy stock that doesn't pay a dividend. That way, that money grows tax deferred. And then you only have to pay long-term capital gains. That's what I would do with an inherited IRA. Okay. It's a very small amount of money, but yes. Yeah, but it's still, hey, every little bit counts, you know, if you want that money it growing. It does. Or you do, or you could put it in a Roth 401k if you have that option at work. Or you could put it in a Roth IRA if you have income. But I'm assuming you don't because that's, otherwise you wouldn't answer that question, but maybe I'm wrong. So you have. Oh, no, four, I'm employed. I don't have a I don't have a 401k at work. Though. Oh well, then you could take the inherited IRA income, right? Let's say it's six mm -hmm. grand. You could do a six grand IRA on your own life. If you have wages up to six thousand. Oh, I already do that though. Yeah, you know, this is this is the what, how do I convert this extra money? So you already max out your Roth. Yes. Okay. Well, then the other option would be for tax smart growth, you buy stock that doesn't pay a dividend, or you put it in life insurance that grows tax deferred and can be pulled out tax free. And then if you're uninsurable, you buy it on your kids. And it grows for as long as they live tax free. Like so if I buy it on baby Billy, who's you know one and a half, he has 80, 90, 120 years of tax free growth within the life insurance. Very powerful strategy. So if you yes, want more help on that, sounds like it. Thank call you. us at 888-988-JOSH. Next up, we have Tony, who is a tax on income from a liquidated trust. Go ahead. Hello. Hi, Tony. Go ahead. Uh, good morning, Josh. I have a question on uh, uh, liquidating trust from a stock I own. I owned Washington Mutual back in 2008 when it went bankrupt. Uh, apparently, I became a beneficiary of the Washington Mutual Trust that was created. The letter I got says I received a certain amount of distributions, and I'm to report it, but it's not a 1099. How do I report a liquidating trust distribution? How do you report a liquidate? That would be a that'd be a CPA question. I was hoping I would get to Mr. Yeah, Trump. yeah, we're a little bit a little late on that. Uh, that's why I always tell you to call early and often. Yeah, I should have. But generally, you. is it a complex trust or a simple trust? Uh, I have no idea. All, all it is a simple letter that says, beneficiary tax information, your income is this, your net operating loss is this, call your tax advisor to tell you. Yeah, well, you would just give that to a CPA, and they would. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming might be. because it's from WAMU, you take – how much did you put in the stock and how much did you grow? So if you put 10000 and the the share of the trust is worth 20000 you would pay tax on the difference. If you put in 10000 and it's worth 1000 you wouldn't pay any tax because you lost money. Well, what the letter tells me is what my income is that was paid in 2020, and they're asking me to report that. Yeah, I know, but if 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 it was Washington Mutual stock, right? Originally. And how much did you put into it? That's your basis. Oh, that's and gone. What you're... That's lost. No, well, well, this is proceeds. Unless you've been writing off the loss all these years, then then it is taxable. I have not written anything off. Well, then you might be able to wash off the winnings against the losings. Oh, so that... I see. Yeah, it sounds like you'd be benefited to get a good CPA. If you need help, Finding one, uh, we can refer one to you at 888-988-JOSH, okay? Very good. Thank you so much, Josh. I appreciate it. Folks, give me a call now, 888-988-JOSH. 
any financial question you have. The preceding program was sponsored by the Jelinski Advisory Group. Any awards, rankings, or recognition by unaffiliated third parties or publications, including Five Star Wealth Manager, Advisory of the Year finalist by Senior Market Advisor, and Top of the Million Dollar Roundtable, are in no way indicative of the advisor's future performance or any individual client's investment success. No award, ranking, or recognition should be construed as a current or past endorsement of Josh Jelinski or Wealth Quarterback LLC. Information regarding specific awards, rankings, or recognitions is available on the Wealth quarterback website at www.jelinski.org. All investment strategies have the potential for profit or loss. Investment strategies such as asset allocation, diversification, or rebalancing do not assure or guarantee better performance and cannot eliminate the risk of investment losses. There are no guarantees that a portfolio employing these or any other strategy will outperform a portfolio that does not engage in such strategies. This broadcast should not be construed by any client or prospective client as a solicitation to effect or attempt to affect transactions and securities or the rendering of personalized investment advice. Due to various factors, including changing market conditions, the information discussed in this broadcast may no longer be reflective of current positions or recommendations. While information presented is believed to be factual and up-to-date, Josh Jelinski and Wealth Quarterback do not guarantee its accuracy, and it should not be regarded as a complete analysis of the subjects discussed. The tax and estate planning information discussed is general in nature, is provided for informational purposes only, and should not be construed as legal or or tax advice. Listeners should consult an attorney or tax professional regarding their specific legal or tax situation. Advisory services offered through Wealth Quarterback LLC.